Hey guys, this is the how to expert. Uh, do you want to create a channel art that meets the YouTube channel guidelines? It is 2560 into 1440 pixels that you actually require. So the file is going to be too big, uh, too large actually. Now it's not possible that every time you get uh, photos so big. So how you can make a channel art that fixes and uh, that fits with the required size? So just go to your uh, Google Chrome and go to one site which uh, whose link will be in the description below uh, the site is fotor so dot www dot fotor dot com it's a wonderful site which allows you to create photos for for, for actually all social media like facebook uh, you can even create posters cards instagram post facebook post a youtube cover which i'm actually going to do uh, twitter cover google cover and you can even make a new custom according to you. At this stage, I require YouTube cover to be made, so just I'll be clicking on it. And now it gives you an option to open. Open will actually mean to browse your photos and enter your photos from computer into this. There are so many options uh, like uh, you can upload photos from from your computer, from doc, doc, Dropbox, from Facebook, from Picasa, and from web as well. At this stage, it's from computer, so click on computer and uh, the photo is here. So the photo that you want, double click on it and that's my photo. It's actually I'm going to make the channel co uh, cover for my channel, YouTube channel. Now as you can look, it's already specified. I don't want to edit anything. You can edit, you can add some text onto your photos if you, if you want to do that. You can you can you can even add uh, the background. Now the major problem is that since your photo uh, is going to be this big, two five six zero into one four four zero, this is actually the whole photo. The white doesn't mean that this will be away. White is not going to come. White is will white will come along with how to this photo. So uh, many times people would want uh, this white to not come. And they would want the whole photo to look like one. At this stage, the background of this photo is black. So I can take the background uh, color to be black. Just browse on after clicking here at background. Uh, scroll down for more until you come to this black. So click on it. And uh, now it looks uh, like, yes, it is one photo. It's not two photos, one background, one photo which I've uploaded. Though actually the reality is that. Now you can even add some image effects like these effects in order to remove that blackish or have uh, add just a shade of black to it. It's all up to you. I'll choose this. Uh, you can even change the blur, the exposure. And once you're done, you can even zoom your photo. Well, it's uh, no use to zoom photo. Just you can have a clear look while with zooming so uh, the ratio is there you can fit it to the screen and once you have done with editing there are certain other features like you can add some stickers onto your photo you can add some shapes onto your photo and text on it you can add some text onto your photos background I've already shown you can add some lighter which will create a light effect like this you can finally give feedbacks too. Apart from uh, just editing photos like this, you also have an option to collage, make collages and to make designs. Once you find you're done with your editing purpose, just click on the save. And finally, this is how the photo is going to look. Wherever you want to save, if you want to print the photo, click on print. If you want to save it to Dropbox, click on it. Or if you want to save it to computer, you can click on it. Now, there are quality settings, normal, high or highest. Uh, each quality uh, settings is going to have uh, more uh, size file. Uh, you can even change the name. Uh, my name here will be photo or created because it's actually created by the website photo. Or. I don't have any problem. Just click on uh, save to my computer and it will ask you to save your photo to the place where you want. Click on save after you've done it and when the photo is done this will come up so just check out whether the photo is there yeah so that's the photo 
you can view it and this is how my photo is going to look as you know youtube is not going to accept the whole photo the whole uh, it will just accept the middle part so keep it in mind just create the next go to your youtube channel and click on add channel art and it will allow you to upload a photo or drag from your computer this is the photo double click on it and it will upload the photo onto this page so that you can edit it the recommended channel art size is this and the maximum file size has to be 4 mb it cannot be more than 4 it can be less than 4 but not more than 4 apart from uploading photo you can even if you have any photo saved in your google account you can also add it or either just upload it as i am doing right now the speed that takes to upload will depend upon the file size my size my file size is about 1 point something i don't remember now it uh, it has uploaded now it shall show you so yes so how your channel art is going to look across different devices on your desktop it's going to look like this on your tv like this and on mobiles like this But since I haven't done any text editing or anything, I haven't changed the size of the photo. Or like I haven't enlarged the photo. In that case, the how-to will be seen completely. That is really good. You can even adjust the crop if you want. But since it's going all good, I can directly click on select. Or if you want a little difference in your photo appearance, click on auto enhance in order to enhance your photo. If it's black completely. and white text so it's not going to change but much but you can see the effects and finally when you are done with everything click on select and it will save the photo and well it's saved so it's really good that how to is easily seen now there are other options i could have written something over here could have written something over here but i haven't done so because i just required this so this is a really really easy way in order to upload a channel art that meets the youtube requirements youtube channel size requirements uh, do subs do subscribe to my channel meanwhile like and share this video thanks for watching